Hello crafters, I'm Jan B and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. When we had finished our Alaskan cruise, which was our incentive trip this year with stamping up, we flew to Las Vegas for a few days and I knew that while I was away I would be one video show, short of po posting one every Sunday and Wednesday and I thought what I'd do is I'd leave it until I was reached Vegas then I would make a video showing you my swaps which is what this video is all about. What you can see on the screen at the moment is the plaque that Stamping Up put on each of our doors um, they did this last year so I assume I've only been on two incentive trips so I assume they do this every time um, and it's a lovely lovely memento for us so that's what that is um, with my swaps I'm going to start by showing you the cards um, and I will tell you as much as I can about them but I have been away from um, my catalogues and crafting and all of that so I'm bound to have forgotten all the names of all the stamp sets and all the other products so bear with me if there's anything else you would like to know apart from what I'm telling you um, please contact me but it's important that you let me know at what time during the video you saw what it is that you're question questioning um, because obviously I can't flick through what will probably be about an hour's long video but I am very happy to sort the answers out for you um, and I'm really pleased to say that all of these cards except one have um, somebody's name on. So what I've done is I've gone through and taken them all out of these cellophane bags and I've also gone through and I've put the label inside so I can tell you who made everything. Now this one, I haven't used this yet, which is our beautiful quilted, um, I don't think they call it quilted actually, uh, embossing folder. But that is lovely and this is a three-step stamp for the flowers and for the butterfly but as I say I can't remember the stamp set this was from and this was made by Krista Thomas who goes under www.regalstamping.com oh abstract impressions and perennial birthday of the stamp says um, Krista is one of the few people who gave um, a list of ingredients so um, the ink, Petal Pink, Floaty Flamingo, Poppy Parade, Pepper Zazz and Mossy Meadow. The cardstock is Petal Pink, Floaty Flamingo, Pepper Zazz and Whisper White. Oh yeah, that's good. I wouldn't have put those two colours together, but that looks lovely. Um, others, Layering Circle Framelits. Oh, Tufted Embossing Folder, that's what we call that one. But that's lovely, I like that, really nice. Thank you, Krista. This one is one of my favourite stamp sets, the Dandelions. I made a wish and you came true. And this was made by Janice Irk, who I imagine is in the US. Sorry, I don't know where Krista was from. I don't think there's any clue in her email address. No. So I... Uh, and she hasn't put her number down. Krista Thomas. So, no, I don't know where Krista is from. I would imagine North America. Could be wrong. But, um, yes, the dandelion, I really love this set. Beautiful. And I love how this has all been sections. Beautiful card. So many thanks, Janice. And this one's a Christmas card. I haven't sorted these out into Christmas or um, otherwise. That looks nice as well, I like that. In fact, I like all this. Um, and this is by Debbie Yeomans, who is ACT. Does that mean Australia? Uh, does it mean, we'll see. Yes, that's um, Australia, ACT. Is that, the, is that Melbourne area? I don't know, but definitely Australia. Many thanks, Debbie. That is really lovely, I like that. And this one, I love this as well. Um, this is from the Follow Your Dreams, which is stamp set and dies. And I imagine she's used our new embossing folder to get that bit. You can do that with our dies now. So that is really lovely, I like that. Um, and this is Jackie Noble. Not sure where Jackie is from. 
Uh, oh, New Zealand. So that's lovely. Thank you, Jackie. And this is a stamp set I don't have, but every card I've seen is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think probably the reason I haven't bought it is, although it's stunning, um, I can't think of more than just this to do with it. Um, oh, another project recipe. Oh, Caroline Benny, she's uh, from Australia, I know that. Um, and she, the stamp set is All the Good Things, the colours Poppy Parade, Bermuda Bay, Pacific Point and Versamark. Of oh, the fishes have been Versamarked, uh, heat embossed rather. Um, shimmery white and Bermuda Bay cardstock, accessories, sequin assortment, clear embossing powder, aqua painter and fine tip glue pen and she's also done the inside as well. The Obviously my setup here making a video is somewhat different from being at home um, but I'm hoping that this is working okay. I'm facing a window um, and it, obviously because we're in Vegas at the moment or at least while I'm making this, the video, before I fly home. Um, it's in the shade, so, um, but I think it's bright enough, I hope so. Dandelion one again, and I imagine that's brush -os. let's check first. This was by somebody from, I think that's Austria, isn't it? And her name is Alkheim, oh no, it's Germany, sorry. Um, and this www is, I think, S E R A P H E R E. Okay. So that's lovely, I like that. I haven't tried brush -os myself. This is a nice, bright, summery card. I like this. That's a technique I don't do often, and that's been torn. See that? And been done inside very nicely. A lot of detail. And that is from Petra Rosenbaum. So thank you, Petra. Now I think this technique is a technique that one of the ladies in my team used recently, and I can't think for the life of me what it was called. Um, but her cars, as always, are stunning. Um, but I've We'll check up, if anybody wants to know that, I will check up when I get back home. Um, and she's used one of our doilies and she's actually coloured it to blend in, which is a great idea. Um, oh, this is Jackie Bult, Bult, Bulcher. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, but Jackie was in the room next door to us and uh, we were able to lean across the balcony and uh, chat with each other, which was really very nice. And Jackie goes by the name of the Pampered Stamper, if you're familiar with the US demos on YouTube. Um, you're bound to have came, come across her. So many thanks for that, Jackie. Oh, and also on the inside as well. So many thanks for that, Jackie, that's lovely. Another nice one. In fact, I don't think there are any cards here that I could say I don't like, um, but that's really lovely. That's been heat embossed. That's heat embossed in, it could be bronze actually, or maybe gold, um, but beautifully colored, everything. And that's heat embossed too. I love all of it. And inside, look how well that's been done. Um, and this was by Cheryl Lentz, who looks as if she's from the US. Oh yes, WI. Uh, no, don't know what WI is, um, but a place called Muskego. So many thanks for that, Jackie. That is, uh, sorry, Cheryl. That is really lovely. Beautiful. And this one, I love the simplicity of this. This is one of our DSPs, and who is it? This is Evelyn Wood from Canada. And she's just taken some of our DSP, our really stunning DSP, cut three panels and then used this to do the sentiment. But what else she has done is the card is on um, very vanilla and she has adhered it to a piece of 
Melon Mambo, I believe. Let me see. The stitched all round bundle. So that is definitely that and that. I'm not sure if that's the name of the DSP. Oh, Petal Promenade DSP. The colours Powder Pink for the ribbon, uh, Powder Pink, Melon Mambo and Very Vanilla cardstock. Ink is Melon Mambo, um, Pearls and Dark Flirty Flamingo Stampin' Blends. So it really is lovely. So many thanks for that, Evelyn. And this is another nice one like this. This is, as you know, my favourite colour at the moment. And it's gorgeous grape. That's a nice fancy fold. Get well soon. And that's Kelly Aitchison. And she's in the States, I know. Um, she's Kelly at astampabove.com. And this one is, I've done a video on this style of card. Um, so this has, I didn't do mine with a belly band, but that's a belly band. And that I think from before was Abstract Obsessions, was it? Okay. That is really a lovely fold card. And that's by Sharon Dungan. And I could tell by her, um, what do we call it? Demo ID. Um, she's in, not only is she in the US, but also that she must have been a demo for quite some time. So many thanks for that. Sharon. There we go. Beautiful. Love that. And this one's just that bit different because this is a badge. Okay, it's a proper badge. You could take off the... Uh, I assume you could take it off. I'm not going to pull it because I don't want to damage it. Um, but the little things I like about this is I've seen this done a few times where it's just a frame um, and you just see what's the other side of it without actually framing a particular picture. So I like that. And this is a nice little idea as well, doing punching a hole there and just pushing that through. So yeah, I really like that. And that was made by Jenna Troutman, who is in Germany. And her website is www.janas, as in J-A-N-A-S, dash Baselvelt, which is B A S T E L W E L T dot D E. So many thanks for that, Jana. Now I've done a video for this style of card as well. Um, I first saw this by um, Don Griffiths, I think it was, years ago. But you push that down, this comes up. But what makes this one special? Oh, Rachel, Rachel Tessman, she's also in the States, and she goes under www.stampyourartout.com. Instead of stamp your heart out, it's art. And she is from, if I can see that, MN, which I think is Minnesota. I don't know many of the states by their initials, but you can't really see it there. So just imagine it's on the deck, on the uh, work surface like that, okay. And Rachel has done this so that as this comes up, it slides underneath, so that is still on the front of the card, which is absolutely brilliant. And this is our ribbon. This is our little leafy ribbon. Isn't it lovely? And although this isn't my style, I have considered buying it. Um, but what I really love about this card is these two triangles here with the gap. I think that looks absolutely beautiful. Really love that. And of course, all the colors are tied together. So that's a really lovely card. And I suspect there's stamping dimensional under that, keeping that up so it's been curved. So like it does in a computer, um, computer a typewriter is coming out and getting curled and this is from Karen Titus uh, US internet so that's got to be US I'm bright like that KT stamp at usinternet.com so that's lovely thank you 
This is almost like a double Z card, but just that front panel without the extra bit of the Z. But I think that looks nice. Uh, this is a nice little touch as well, just colouring the inside of the flower to give it some um, texture, some depth. So that's really nice, I like that. And this, I have this stamp set, but I've never, never really used it. Um, but I like what she has done. She, Sue Nuremberger, and I think she's in the States as well. Um, but I like what she's done with it here, as in she coloured the bits, stamped it in, uh, whatever colour this is, and then painted it, which I think is Lemon Lime Twist. So that's beautiful. And of course, beautiful ribbon. In fact, look what she's done with the ribbon. She's cut that in half, made that thin. What a great idea that is. That's lovely, thank you, Sue. And this one I like as well. This one I think is Susan Campfield. Yes, I thought so. What Susan has done on this one is she has stamped on both corners and then she's used the die from the new die set that's going to be on offer, limited edition during August 2018. Um, so I think today, the day that this video goes live is 1st of August, so um, as from today. And what she did, uh, the dies, the shaped ones, have got stitching on the inside and the outside. So what she's done is she die cut that bit and then she adhered it on the inside. So you've got the stitching there. And you've got the stitching there. Isn't that great? And this is from our specialty DSP. Um, she's obviously lined the back of it. I think that's really gorgeous. I love this, the stamp set. I think that is the same stamp set that's on offer with the dies, which the it's called Blended Seasons if you want the bundle. Um, also on offer during August is a set of 10 new watercolour pencils. They are not limited edition because they may be bought forward, uh, carried forward to a new uh, catalogue at some stage, which I hope they are because the colours are gorgeous. This is one of my favourite cards as well. I like this. Um, I can't think of the stamp sets, um, but this has been white embossed. This is stamped, and then with the die cuts. And again, this is the, what did I say it was? Something parade um, promenade, petal promenade, I think the DSP is there. But it's a beautiful card. And that has been made by Sharon Armstrong who goes under the name of TX Stamping. So whether that means Texas, I'm not sure, but I imagine it does. Um, I'm quite happy to be corrected on that one. But Sharon has her own YouTube channel as well, if you want to check out what she does. Um, otherwise, uh, what's her? She hasn't, she's only put her um, shop website on but her email is Sharon at txstampin.com okay so that's nice I like that I've got so many ideas from these swaps I've done a video for this type of card as well um, it has a belly band on here which slides up. and what I like about this belly band I don't know if you can see yes you can she has a bust on here with one of our embossing folders, the Stripes embossing folder. I think that's what it's called. Um, but the card is a box card, collapsing box. Ah, oh, and in here, she's very kindly done the uh, details of how it's made, and then the score lines, cut lines, etc. I will try and remember to put the video details in the box below the video. And this has been made by Jamila Ivitz and she goes, she's on Facebook as Jamila Stamps, 
if you'd like to check her out. But this is really nice. I like this. I'm surprised how much I like this, um, the Dreamcatcher um, set. But the more I see it, the more I like it. And I have used it. Right, let's do this properly. Concentrate. Let's do it this way. It slid off nicely, so it must slide on nicely. There we go. Make sure I'm not catching anything at the back. But this is great because this kind of card, you could quite easily put a gift card inside there. Okay, so that's that one. This is a nice one as well. It's a nice colour scheme. And this is one of our new embossing folders. And this has been made with Stamp with Celine, and that's Celine Kempton. I imagine she's US as well, um, and she's got Stamp Your Heart out. Her website is www.celinekempton.com if you'd like to check her out. So thank you for that, Celine. This is a beauty of a card. And you, if you've been following my uh, videos, I've been trying to come up with ideas of what to do with these. Uh, these are from our vellum uh, DSP. And this is brilliant. I love this, where she's used a dark green and then a light green and then a dark green. I think it's such a great idea. And this is our tufted embossing folder again. And what she has done is... She has done that, and then that separately, that separately, and just put them on with dimensionals. So I might, might case that one. That's such a good idea. And this was made by Angela Waters, and it was inspired by Lisa Curcio. That's really nice of Angela to say that. I had the pleasure of meeting Lisa on uh, the incentive trip. She is such a nice lady. Right, this one I think is great as well. Um, not a new stamp set, but a good one, which I'm very pleased to say it was brought forward. Let the adventure begin, and Alaska in there. And that is just a sheet of um, acetate, so I think that's really nice. And that's Sabine Beck from Germany. Okay. Lovely. Um, and this one, I just absolutely love this DSP. It's a great set all together. Um, there are, if I remember correctly, there are two dies to cut that out. One that will leave um, a white edge around it and one that won't. Same as that one. Um, which I think is great. Gives you a great taste. Um, that's another of the palm leaves. This has been made by... Um, Gesh Pribler. I'm sorry if I've murdered your name. Um, right, I'm going to spell this out for you. Um, Gesh's email address is www.geschtemplt.de. But the real beauty of this card, not just one like that, it's a twisted easel card. Isn't that beautiful? I've put the uh, card in the wrong place. But what a beautiful card that is. Can I turn it? Yes, I can. In fact, I might even make a video on that one. But that is really beautiful. So thank you very much, Gersha. Right, we have one, I have one card that doesn't have anybody's name on. Beautiful card, I love this. I haven't used this set yet, I do have it, but I haven't used it yet. And I like her use of the DSP. Together we make a great pair. Thank you big time, together we make a great pair. And I'm afraid there's no name with it. Which is a shame, because a beautiful card like that um, it's a shame you can't take the credit for it. The two cards that I've left till last, um, Hubby said his favourite card is this one. 
okay, which I have to agree, like so many of them, um, it's beautiful. Uh, this has been embossed with the, what I call the quilted embossing folder, but it's actually called tufted. And that's one of our doilies. Such a cute little thing. So that is really lovely. Cute and cuddly, soft and sweet, someone to make your life complete. And that was made by Tammy Ackerson. And that's from MI in the States. And her website is tammyackerson.typepad.com. A beautiful card. Thank you. And this one is my favourite because I love what has been done here. It's another card using the um, vellum, the patterned vellum DSP as a background and I think what she has done there is really lovely. And of course the quilted um, embossing folder. This here was a die from, now I've just used this on a card, um, but mine, my sentiment was a lot smaller, so I had to cut it down small, and I did that by using a um, using that die, which um, I think is worthy of a video to show how you can get this to different lengths. It's so easy to do. Um, but no, I think that is really lovely. So thank you very much, Jan Faring. I'm not sure where Jan is from. Um, the uh, demo ID doesn't help me. I don't know where 2020 is from. It may be Australia or New Zealand. Anyway, they are all the cards. Now I'm going to show you the 3D projects that I've received. Now I have to say, there was an upset about this, so I don't have names on everything. Um, what happened was, when I went to collect my uh, swaps, because what happens is you hand yours in, and stamping up, get them all sorted out. Um, if you've handed in cards and 3D, then you collect cards and 3Ds. But unfortunately, I was rather late going to collect mine, and when I went to collect them, there weren't, there wasn't a 3D one there. Uh, we're not sure what happened, but stamping up being stamping up, um, got it all sorted out for me. And later that evening. Um, a tray arrived with all these goodies on. So I'm sorry if there aren't names to any of these, um, but if you did make any of them and you recognize them and you'd like me to add your name in the box below the video, I'm more than happy to do so if you let me know. So they're in no order because I'm very limited for space. So I'm just going to show you what I have. Now this was uh, from Julie Menino and she's in the States. And I haven't opened this up yet, but that looks like a, um, a candy in there, a, a stick of candy. Um, so that's really very nice. That's a different way of closing a box rather than cutting down and folding. Um, so that makes a nice change. So thank you for that. Now this one, I think, this one doesn't have a name on it, but I also received one like this and they are identical. So I'm assuming that the person who did this is the same person who did this. Sorry if I'm wrong. This is what we were recommended to do. If we do a 3D box to make it pack flat for traveling, I didn't. Uh, my box, if you've seen my apron box, there was no way that that was going to be flat packed. But this one has been made by um, Jeanette Shaw who is from, oh, she's Bellevue as well. That last one was Bellevue. Yeah, this one's Bellevue 49021. Oh, they're both. Oh, they must be in the same team, team I would have thought. Anyway, this is the box. This bit here is the belly band. And these are the cards that are inside. So I'm assuming these are both from the same person. So let me show you the inside. And the belly band goes better at the top. Okay. And then in here are 
three, no, four little You Are Amazing cards. Aren't they cute? And of course, the envelopes, which have been decorated with the same DSP on there. So that is really lovely. So thank you very, very much for that, Jeanette. And I have a similar idea here with the uh, belly band on the pizza box. Now, I think the name is on the inside here. Let me have a look. Oops. Yes, this is Speedy Scrap. Uh, oh, from France, yes. And this is a bar of soap. Whether um, Speedy Scrap has actually made this or not, I don't know. But this is, oh dear, no, I'm not going to try and say that. I'll let you read it instead. <laughs> okay, and then up here, she's put, Returned from the Crusades by Theobald IV of Champagne in 1240, the Rose of Province has become one of the symbols of the city and is now part of its historical heritage, which is presumably the, the uh, perfume in there, the rose. So that is really lovely, Rose of Province. And it smells absolutely gorgeous. So that, that. And remember that belly bands go better on from the top. I have this, again, my favorite ribbon. This was made by Susan Elise Morton, and I'm imagining that she's from the US. And this is actually a little wallet. That's a belly band. And inside, it, oh, here we go. Um, it's like little cards. So you could use this for maybe uh, travel, so you put your tickets and your money in there, as long as you didn't have too much money, of course. Um, but you could use that as a gift voucher and you could put your greeting or a letter note on there. I think that's a great idea. And this is all coordinating that. So that's a great idea. And that's been, oh, I said Susan Elise Morton, whose website is, the blog is Stamping perfection and that is stamping with a G per as in a cap purs fection dot type bad dot com the cat art studio so that's lovely I'll pop that there so that I can put it together afterwards now this one is from um, Sam Hammond otherwise known as Pootles and this is a little bit difficult to get off because the sticky is coming through. I think I've taken it off often enough to loosen it. And inside there's a little packet of mini randoms. So that's been made with the envelope punch board. And that's the same DSP as the one that I said I really like. This one here, I can see it. This one, it's all part of the same set. And the leaves are as well. You see, with the leaves, you can die cut really thin, no edging on it. If that will go on easily, I'll do it now. Otherwise, I'll put it to the side and do it later. I'll do that later. Right, now we have a beautiful little notepad. Okay, so that's like that. Loads of pages on that. That's the kind of thing that'll go into my kitchen. Nice little notepad because I'm always scribbling notes and I've got tatty bits of paper. I used to have one of my um, shopping pads. Oh, sorry, I didn't say who did this, did I? 
Oh, no, I don't know. Oh, sorry. Um, I used to have one of these shopping notepads that I made in there, but I finished it now. And all ready for next year, 2019. And this is from Martina Wunschner. And I imagine she's Germany. I don't know. Uh, the I demo ID starts off the same as what we have in the UK. Um, but that looks German. Um, so I don't know what the greeting says, sorry. But again, one of my favourite papers, this. It's all from Share What You Love or Share What You Like. Uh, what was that from? I'll do that one in a minute. Now this is a set of dies I haven't used yet. Look at that. Can you see that? Oh, you see it better there. Let's move the ribbon out of the way. The set comes with three dies like this, which would be great for bookmarkers, or I've seen people use this bit as part of their greeting cards. And this is just one long strip, and it comes up to the top there, just where my fingernail is. I, that has been glued across there, and inside is a chocolate. And this has been made by René Con Conkey. Sorry about that, I don't know. That's obviously the states. Again, it's that state. I really must learn the states, actually. I mean, there's only, what, 52? 50 of them? To, sorry, 50 of them to learn. WI. Uh, uh, website is www.watercitystamping.blogspot.com. So if you'd like to check out Renee. That's beautiful. Love that. And this one I didn't take out of the cellophane. But again, this is how we were told to do flat boxes. Keep them flat for travelling so that we made them up when we get them. Uh, so the, I'm not going to do it all completely. I just want to show you the, the idea behind this. OK, so that all goes together like that. Now, I haven't done that properly, but just to show you. Um, and then these, this straw goes in across the handle. Um, that I'm not doing it properly because I don't think that hole is big enough without crushing this. But if you can imagine that that goes through there and then that goes through there. And it's like a little carrying thing. You say it's a good idea? I love it, it's great. So thank you very much. And again, another one that doesn't have a name on it. So that can go back in the bag afterwards. Now here's one of two exercise books I was given. Um, these are the flowers that we saw on the green card there where they'd coloured on the inside. This one's got the black dot and again, more tearing you can see that top and bottom. And this has been stamped by hand. This isn't a DSP. So that looks lovely. Well done. Great idea. I do like that. I like making my own DSP. And this is by Lisa Bowl. Bowl. And she is Lisa Bow at www. No, wwt.net. I'm afraid I don't know where that is at all. But lovely little notepad. So thank you. And this one, oops, I haven't actually undone this one yet. Shall I? No, it's too tight. Um, warmed with love, steeped in friendship. I don't know if that's a, one of our DSPs, is it? don't know whether it is or not. It's beautiful, really lovely. And what happens in here is, if I can get them out, I think that's actually stuck. Yeah, it is. And it is Wegmans Just Tea. It's a tea, tea sachet. And this has been made by Jess B. That's Jessica Brigden. 
and she is also in the States and her blog is www.jessbcreativecardiology.com so if you'd like to check her out let's pop that back in there so I don't lose it so that's really sweet I like this die really very nice And this is very nice. It's not the kind of thing that I would do, but my goodness, it's beautiful. So the dragonfly is on vellum. That's paper, that's paper. Not quite sure what's at the back there. I need more time to study that. And there's that on there is burlap of some sort. This is uh, hard, what we call hardboard in the UK. Okay, so that is really lovely. As I say, not the kind of thing I would make, but it's beautiful. Okay, no name. Oh, that goes over that side. And this one is with this. And this is from Genevieve Co. So that stands up like that, like that. But I can't decide, I haven't seen one of these before, and I can't decide whether I am meant to open this up. I don't think so because there's a dimensional on that side and on that side. I wonder if I could open that up very gently. Are you holding your breath as well? <laughs> it's coming undone very slowly. There we go. Now. No, I don't think it is meant to come undone. Pop that back in there. Pop that back in there. There we go. So that's on like that. Very nice, I like that. Still the same set that I uh, DSP that I like, which is the share what you like. Now the next one, I've had to flat pack this because I want to get it home safely. And it's a box like that. I've taken all this sticky off of here, which is why I can't put it back together again. Okay, so they all close up like that. And I've put this together incorrectly because it won't fit on there. In fact, you can see that I've done it incorrectly. Yeah, So that is meant to fit on there, but because I wanted to get it home without being damaged, I undid it all. But you can see what it's meant to be like, and that's what the top is. And this has been trimmed down as well, I like that. Okay. So that's beautiful. And this is, sorry, this is from Judy Anderson. And she, I believe, is in the States. And she has given, did I stick that in? Yeah, I did. I, I will put it out. Um, and yes, she has given instructions how to do it. And she's said, email me if you want more details. And she's judy at judystamps.com. So that's really nice. At least I'm, I'll fold that down again so I can get that home safely. And I also did a video showing something similar to this. Like a little notepad you can pop into your bag. Um, yeah, that's paper. On mine I used a little card as it was going in the bag. I suspect some of these were on display um, because there are marks on there. I suspect Stamping Up had to retrieve some from the display boards for me. And that's got folded as well, that's a straw there. So that's very pretty. Thank you. Uh, of course, no, I don't know, do I? So thank you for that. Oh, that's the wrong side, don't put it over there. Now this one, um, because I was given this in when we were on the ship, um, we came back to the States and we're not allowed to bring food in. 
I actually took the biscuits out that are in here and in the UK they are what we would call cheeselets. They're small square biscuits. I didn't close that up properly. Um, there we go, that's better. But this was quite bulbous when I received it with the biscuits inside. So that's nice, isn't it? I like how she's decorated this as well. That's quite easy to do. Um, and this is from Anne Oshiro from Hawaii. And she's www.annstamps.stampingup.net. Actually, that's her shop. Okay, so that's good. I like that one. And this one, that's been stamped at the back there. Looks like what looks like it's on watercolour paper. And this is a hard black frame. It's got one of those at the back. So you can stand it up. It never fails to amaze me at uh, the generosity of some demos. I mean, you know, even if it's only a dollar each, I mean, you're doing 26 of them. Right, so that, oh, I don't know who that was made by either. But that's a nice little memento of Alaska. So that's all of those. I've got two more swaps to show you and one more item. So this is another exercise book. In fact, what I'm going to do is I am going to zoom you out a bit. I'm sorry about the mess that you can see, but I am going to finish up zooming you right out for the last item. Right, so this is the second to last. Beautiful exercise book with tabs on it, smile, enjoy and love. And that's been punched out with one of our punches. And that will be one of our stamps as well, I'm sure. Um, a little like timetable there. And also, not, not, oh yeah, actually that would be really useful for me as well. So when I'm working out the time, if I know the time difference between me and, um, say, New York, then I can work out the times. As long as I improve my geography a bit, I need to know where everything is. I know California's over there. Um, and this was by Jamie Albanese, and she goes by the name of www.gettingcrafty.net and yes in the states whereabouts can we see no that many things so that that is really beautiful stunning now the biggest and best out of all of these is let me just move you oops Get you right out. Okay, so that's as far as I can get you. Let's move you around slightly. Can you imagine somebody did 26 of these? It is a brownie bronze colour tray and she has done this. This I believe she has um, stamped with one of our stamps. It might be something like touch of texture, I don't know. But then she's stamped and die cut all of these flowers and all of these letters and this decoration and she did 26 of them. Now isn't that absolutely stunning? And she's put directions on it. I hope you enjoy this 3D item. I didn't add a ribbon, but if you wanted to hang it that way, because obviously you could, which I probably will, um, I think that you could maybe punch holes with a hole punch or maybe heat an ice pick and melt holes to run ribbon through. Um, and this is from Joanna Jones in the States. Joanna, this is absolutely amazing. It's beautiful and I'm going to get this home to the UK and whatever, I mean, I, the flowers getting a little bit damaged there. If the flowers get more damage, which I hope they don't, but if they do, I am still hanging this up. This is a memento with a story to tell. It is beautiful. Many, many thanks. 
And the last thing I want to show you is um, Hubby and I were talking to four Japanese ladies. Let me just bring you back up again because I want you to see what... I think the lady's name was Kauri. I've probably pronounced that incorrectly, but... Now, this was in a cello bag, all right? So imagine it was wrapped up nicely. All right, it was wrapped up like that. And this was in here as well, okay? And the only reason she gave it to me was, she said, I have these gifts that I'm giving out. So whether she did the swaps or not, I don't know. I'm just taking you out a bit better. If I'm going to lay it sideways. Okay. Anyway, she gave me one because we were chatting. And then first of all, this is a... Uh, how did I do this? It was a, It's a swan. Um, I can't remember how I did it. But origami for a... I should have checked with Hubby before I did the video. He would have remembered. I think it should be up like that because that looks like the eye. But anyway, there was this little bit of origami. And then on here it says make an original folding fan. In here are instructions how to open and close your fan. Obviously all in Japanese. I assume that's Japanese uh, and English. And then in here she's put the instructions, how to stamp blender pen or stamping right markers. So that's how she's done that bit there. Until I've actually experimented with this, I'm not sure how this is going to work out. <laughs> Bless her, look, she said, do not over ink. You see how she's got a little bit of ink there? Do not over ink. How sweet is that? And then the colours that she used up here, the stamps that she used. And then this, that's got the little belly band on it that she stamped. English and Japanese. I'm, because she's a Japanese lady, I assume that everything is Japanese. And then take that belly band off. And then this is a plain, turn it around the right way. This is a plain fan. So you stamp onto here. Presumably you just need to hold that down, do the stamping. I mean, it must leave um, breaks in here. Although it doesn't look as if she has. Maybe she's, that's why she says, stamping right markers, she goes over it to fill in the blanks where it's missed. In fact, that must be what she's done. If you see here, on the top bits, there's no breaks in the colour, but there are in the bits down here, and I think that she's using her marker pen to go over and fill in the gaps. I will do this one day and I will share it on my blog so you can see what has actually happened here. Also a pen, which she has decorated inside with some of our DSP. Okay, so that's just a normal pen. Looks like a, let's do this on the back. Yeah, like a roller ball. Stamp set is Make a Difference, Artfully Folded, New Year's Celebrations, and um, With All My Heart. And her name is Kauri, and I'm saying that because if that was an M, it would be Maori in um, New Zealand, so I'm saying that's Kauri, Maori. And the four Japanese ladies, two of them were demos in the US. And one of the ladies, in fact, I think it was this lady we were talking to, um, she actually used to live in um, Purley, which is the next town to us where we live in Coulston. So that was an amazing little uh, fact that we found out. So that really is all my swaps. I did want to sh give you a sneak peek at the uh, 
goodies that we received on the trip as well but I'm going to have to save that for another day. I'll probably do that for you when um, the first video when I get back home because there's absolutely minimal um, prepping for that. But I'm just going to leave you with a view of that. It is stunning. So many thanks for joining me today. Until next time, happy crafting. Cheerio.